There are serious concerns tonight about Arkansas's law and driving high, especially when medical marijuana sales begin. KRK started asking questions after working for you learned two drivers involved in a February wreck that killed a woman walking on a sidewalk tested positive for cannabis, but no charges were filed. Character for Mitch McCoy asking questions tonight. Mitch, what'd you find out? Well, Bob and Ashley, good evening to you both. Leaders at the Arkansas State Crime Lab and defense attorneys are both waiting on exactly what lawmakers will do. There's no set legal limit defined in state law, meaning trained drug recognition officers will determine how high is too high to be behind the wheel, which I've learned could create problems. When you open your world to science, there are people at the Arkansas State Crime Lab that depend on many things to make results fact. Well, we don't know what that impact is going to be yet for us. Crime Lab Assistant Director Cindy Moran says figuring out if someone's high on marijuana is different than determining if someone's drunk. With blood alcohol, we have a .08, what's called the per se limit. That's what tells you when a person is legally impaired. You don't have that for um, drugs. In February, a 47-year-old woman walking on this sidewalk near Broadway and 6th was hit and killed when these two cars collided off the road and into her. The case file shows both drivers' urine samples tested positive for marijuana, but the crime lab does not quantitate the level of marijuana in the system, so it's unknown if it affected the drivers. Prosecutors say they didn't file charges because they couldn't prove criminal intent. It's incredibly complicated. Defense attorney John Collins says marijuana will stay in someone's body for 30 or so days, but impairment only lasts six to eight hours. Officers are now being trained on how to recognize impairment by a 12-step exam, including blood pressure and pupil size. I think that there are going to be some people that get arrested or charged based on the result where there is no proof of impairment. More samples are going to be coming. While tests and results are worked up, this issue has to start here first. As far as being able to say whether someone is impaired, uh, because there is no law concerning that, we won't be able to determine that. It is important to note that the crime lab can quantitate someone's level of impairment on marijuana, but they would need a blood sample. And for officers to get a blood sample, they would need a search warrant. Officers tell me doing that would be difficult on the side of the road at a traffic stop. Attorneys tell me if lawmakers do not set any kind of standard, it could create gaps in the law. Working for you, I'm Mitch McCoy.